Well, you're looking for a gift, right? Not something that's just sort of personal, but completely unique. Well, these pendants are perfect. They're called Priceless Prints, free form, fingerprint pendant charms. Yeah, these are cool. And the founder of this Iowa-based company is here, Deb Nestor. Good to see you, Deb. It's nice to meet Hi, you. Nice yeah, to be here. I heard here. about this Thank product. You. Thank you. It's really cool. I like this. What's, it's called Priceless Prints. Mm -hmm. What's the concept behind it? How did you come up with it? Well, it, uh, the idea came to me years ago in 2003 when my mother passed away. And the funeral uh, service director, he offered me and my sisters a fingerprint of my mother's. But it was expensive, and it was a ink fingerprint that they'd send into a company mm -hmm. and reproduce. And I liked the idea, but I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. So, but I've made jewelry for over 30 years, mm -hmm. and I had this clay. And one time, when my son was home visiting, I said, "Kyle, smash this with your thumb." Mm -hmm. And so he did, and that's yeah. the very pendant that I wear. Wow, and that's the one. That's the on one the that's on the box. This yes. is your son's fingerprint. Yes. So if you log on or we even have like a close up picture of the pendant, that is yes. his print. That is his print. So, he was 21 and he's 32 now. Uh-huh. So this, this whole idea, um, you're, you were talking about your experience with your mom. So in that case, mm -hmm. it would have been a beautiful sentiment. But who else oh, are, yeah. are these pendants for? Oh, they're for anybody. They're for mothers, fathers, grandmothers, um, newlyweds, sisters. Mm -hmm. I mean... It can be anything, new anybody, parents. new parents, new babies. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And I love how it looks because it doesn't look like somebody's, you know, you're at the, the jailhouse where you slap your thumbprint down <laughs> yeah. and it's, you, you put it yeah. on. Yeah, thank no, you, really, Mike. It blends in, it blends into the material, though. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and can yeah. you take us through the process, though, of, of how this works, how you capture the print, absolutely. How, you, how you turn it into a piece of jewelry? Hold on, I have this kit here. Is this what people get when they this call or the log on? This is what the customer gets when they order. Okay, uh -huh. so look, I'm really opening up this box, everybody. So you saw me holding this, right? Mm -hmm. So And then you open it up. And so what do we have inside? We have a bubble mailer that we've uh, just recently started including in the kits mm -hmm. for our customers' convenience. That's just the packaging, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we back. have that little, uh, well, this is the bag of silver clay. Mm -hmm. This has precious metal clay in it. It's actually the fine silver. It's microscopic particles of pure silver and an organic binder and water mixed together so it looks like clay but it's actually the metal. Can we mm. do it today? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, great. Let's, let's we'll do one. That open. Let's talk about let's so what how do we how do we do this? If it's perfect. So yes. if you're getting the kit home, this is what you do once you this get your box. This is what you box. will do. Right. Yes. So we take this take this package and open it you, up and we you, open this. Uh, when we're ready. Not we yet. Will, okay. Yeah, when we're ready because okay. this clay it dries very quickly okay. when when it hits the air. So you want to be Deliberate. You want to do it one time. Okay. So what's and our first step? And you want step? to be ready. Mm -hmm. So the first step I would say to our customers is to read the instructions <laughs> right. carefully, uh -huh. which are also included. Yes, I'll which are also know. included. Right. The instructions. Yep. But we have the founder here. So what do you tell <laughs> us to do? <laughs> well, um, basically, what you will do is that you will open that bag of clay and you will take that ball of clay off of the plastic that it's wrapped in. Okay. You will shape it between your fingers gently. Okay. You don't want to roll it in your palms. Right. You just want to gently shape it into a ball. Okay. You will place it in between the layers of the mylar square. Okay, okay so we've got that here too. Mm -hmm. And that helps yes. keep the fingerprint intact? Or what's well, the purpose what there? Well, what that does is it, it kind of flattens. We will flatten it to a disc shaped to about the size of a dime or a mm -hmm. penny. And then you put that inside the box? After, or? after we make after the fingerprint. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the mylar square actually clears the clay of any fingerprints that you might have on it. Right, so mm -hmm. I, put, I, I get the clay in a ball, put it in between here, mm -hmm. clean and it you up, will and then... You will lift the clear flap, and then you will press the finger into the clay. I feel a lot of pressure easy, here. Easy peasy. Now, can I do it now? Yeah. Do you want, should we yeah. do it now? Okay, I'll break it or open. If Mike can do this, anybody can. Anybody can do this if I can do we, this. We know that to be true. <laughs> yeah, we do. I can't even get the packaging open. It's the pressure uh, of the moment. It is. Yeah, it while is. he's working on this, mm -hmm. tell me, because I'm thinking about getting these back for Christmas. What a wonderful gift. They're very but time must be of the essence. It so is. if you're it ordering is. a kit, at what point do you need to place that order to get the pendant made in time for Christmas? Well, you need to order your kits now. Today. Today. Yeah. I would order today. And if you want to give the pendant as a gift, you need to get it done. Order today. Get the fingerprint done and get it back to us as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And if we receive it by the 18th, we can guarantee Christmas delivery. Has he already messed okay. this up? No, I didn't mess it up. Yeah, you roll it in a ball, right? <laughs> put it in a yeah. ball? Yeah, you kind of just like that. Okay. And then you will put it between those two layers. I brought my little tool. Okay. 
and then you will. So then you press it on mm -hmm. top of there? And, and you will it down. press it down about the size of a dime or a penny. Okay, I don't know if our viewers at home can see this. But, but you could take any smooth, flat surface, right? Our yeah. viewers might not have this. Right, have you just don't want any block. texture or mm -hmm. anything like that. So it needs to be smooth and flat. Okay. Okay. There we go, I've got her okay. pressed. Now you then lift that clear flap. Lift this part up. And, and lay your finger flat. You want use my thumb or my index? What you well, we recommend the first finger because okay. it's the easiest. To, no, lay it flat on the on table. The surface. Ah, okay, there see, go, there we go. The table. I'm going to make the mistakes for lay everybody. lay your finger flat and press it on top of that clay. And you need to press firmly. You want to see the clay squish a little bit. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, and then just pick your finger up. And then wow. you should be able to How pick it up easy. and see your fingerprints on it. I can see it. Yeah, I can yeah. see the fingerprints. I don't know if people at so, home can. And then you make the pendant. Well, what, what happens next is that you let that sit in the air to dry overnight. It dries very quickly. And once it's completely dry, you see how it's sticking to the mylar square? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once it's completely dry, it will slide off. You put it in a little jewelry box. Uh -huh. You fill out the form on the instruction sheet that tells us where it goes back to. Mm -hmm. And then what initials you'd like us to put on the back, we stamp. Oh. We hand stamp. So you could ship three this initials to someone. It doesn't yeah. have to come back to your home. You'll ship it anywhere to we grandparents it. or yes. anybody anywhere. Yes. Well, that's the key because you want to send it as well, a gift. But if we, you want to send the it The reason as a gift. We, we're glad you were here today is because if you're interested in this idea and you're as impressed as we are, you've got to get the kit ordered now. That way you have time to get the print back to her in Shenandoah, so Iowa, can, yeah. um, so that they can then have the pendant created and then back out to you for Christmas. So online, it's prairiecreations.com. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to call the number there on the screen. But we mm -hmm. love this. Um, That's that a really neat gift a idea. A local it business. Is. Yeah, it's a great perfect idea. Not only brand new babies. Yeah. It can be done from birth to just prior to burial. Mm -hmm. It's so, so good. So it's a wonderful memorial. Um, it is. You know, it someone losing a loved one. Yeah. Yeah. And it can be done on pets too. You can do. Oh. A, you can do a pet's nose or a pet. She just perked <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. She's a pet lover. She's a pet mom. We love this idea. Thank you so much for Thanks bringing for it to us. And Merry yeah, Christmas. Well, thank you. Merry Christmas Merry to you. Christmas to thank you. you. Well, we are talking so much about the holidays and a lot's planned throughout the season at the Durham Museum, including their ethnic holiday festival tonight. Mike, you'll be there. I will be there. We talked about the event yesterday with Jessica Brummer. Look for our conversation at OmahaMorningBlend.com. All right. You've also got a chance this holiday season to do something brand new and totally cool. Yes. It's thanks to the tech library, Do Space how they're helping us hack the holidays straight ahead.